Hey everybody, it's uh, Dr. Kyle here and uh, I'm coming to you from our exam room and I'm just shooting a video here um, to help teach everyone how to do our home exercises that we recommend in our office. And uh, before I do that, I want to talk to you. Well, first I want to thank you for coming and watching this. That means you're investing in your health and with your time and with your money, which means you're going to get amazing results as long as you continue to do. So when we recommend how many times to do these different exercises for you specifically, you want to make sure you follow that. If you do, you're going to get great results. So I want to go through right now is um, why we're doing them, okay? Because ultimately, when you understand how the body works, you can set yourself up for long-term health. And here's a good example. Um, when, when I know that my body is made to heal from the inside out, and that uh, as long as I remove all the interference from my nervous system so my body can heal and function at 100%, and I get the right nutrients in my body, and I exercise to get oxygen, create lean muscle, pull toxins out of my body and out of my environment, then I know that long term I'm going to be a healthier, stronger me, and I'm going to live a longer, healthier life. So I'm not going to have to go to the doctor. I'm not going to take medications. I'm not going to let pills uh, come into my life because I know those things are just going to make me worse because they're chemicals and they block my body's ability to adapt. So... I'm going to talk to you guys about what controls our body. So number one, right off the bat, this is a spine. Okay, this is what we work with. We love this thing. It protects our nervous system, which controls our body. So your brain right here. So you got a brain that would sit right here. Your brain controls every aspect of your health. It controls your immune system. It controls your heart, your lungs, your digestive system. Everything happens right up here. And it's constantly sending signals down the spinal cord. Okay, you can see right there goes right into that hole all the information goes through there it's like a conduit okay it's not a satellite system it's a conduit it goes evenly throughout the spine and it comes out these little spinal nerves okay and these spinal nerves go to organs they go to the tissue they go to the cells they tell your body to do what it needs to do here's a good example right here this nerve right here it's one of the nerves that goes to your heart okay now if i go in and i say okay boom spine shifts it puts pressure on the nerve right there now the heart's not going to work as good as it can because there's pressure on the nerves that go to the heart. Here's a good example. If I take a wire and I start to splice the wire, right? If we have an outlet and I splice the wire going to the light, the outlet, the light uh, switch can be on, but that light's going to start to flicker. If I cut the wire, the light's going to go out. That's the same thing that happens to our heart, to our lungs, to every organ tissue on our body. So when you're in this office and you're getting adjusted, our number one focus is to get pressure off your nervous system so that your body has its maximum ability to heal. Now, your spine protects that system, okay? Now, we can get aches and pains from this too. Most of the time, you don't feel uh, the problems in your spine. 9%, get this, 9% of your nerve fibers are for pain. Everything else is for function. So it's for your heart to beat, lungs to breathe, stomach to digest food, everything else. So a good healthy spine is going to look something very similar to this. There's going to be a nice curve in the neck. You want it to be about 43 to 45 degrees. The head's going to be right above this area right here. So it's like a nice spring. Okay. There's going to be a curve going this way in the mid back. And then the same thing, there's going to be a nice curve in your lower back. And this whole system takes, accepts gravity and allows your body to uh, uh, distribute gravity evenly throughout your spine. So you won't get spinal degeneration, you're not going to get disc herniations or anything in this position. Now, from the front, and it's hard for me to get this spine perfect, but you can imagine you want your spine to be straight up and down from the front, okay? This would be the opposite of that, that's scoliosis. Okay? Now, a lot of us don't have scoliosis, but what we have is a little bit of a shift, right? Just enough of a shift like this, putting pressure on the nerves affecting our bodies. As soon as there's pressure on the nerves, the, the body starts to, uh, the organ that that nerve goes to starts to decrease its function over time, builds disease. So our job is to get as much pressure off that as possible. Your home exercises are to work with the muscles and to pump the disc spaces to keep fluid in them, work with the muscles and pump the disc spaces to get this structure back in your spine so that you can take care of your health long term. Okay, it's not our goal to have you in here for the rest of your life. It is our goal to get your spine into a good, healthy state, and then you can do the stuff at home. Okay, so without further ado, let's go, and go ahead and show you how to do these home exercises. Okay, very first one I'm going to go into, one of my favorite, and there goes my spine, just fell on me. One of my favorite exercises you should, many of you have done this in the office, you can use either a strap, like you see here, or you can use a towel. Okay, and you'll show this on your paper. The first exercise you're going to do, and this is only if we checked it off for you, is you're going to stretch. Okay, you can reach this arm to the ground like this. You're going to stretch all through here. You should feel a good pull, no pain. If it's painful, you don't want to do this. You want to talk to us and we'll change it up for you. 
a good stretch like this, and you hold about 10, 15 seconds, and then I'm gonna resist with this arm, resist with this arm, my neck, but I'm gonna let it go just enough, and then I'm gonna go back. Okay, this is called PNF stretching. It actually lengthens your muscles. 10 seconds, resist, and go back. And I'll hold that for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna do three sets, so that would be three sets right there. Then I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna do the other side. And resist, and back. Okay, so next, and you're gonna do three sets that way, and then we're gonna do one just down like this. Okay, I don't wanna feel pain, I just wanna feel stretch. I'll hold it for 10 seconds, I'm gonna bring my neck back, and do it again for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna do three sets of that. Finally, you're gonna take this, put it behind your head, I like to let it sit on my ears here, and then we're gonna go back. Again, no pain, just stretch all through the front of your spine, Introduce the curve into your neck, and you're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Resist, and back down. You can grab this, you can't see it back here, but I'm grabbing it from the back here, okay, with my hands. All right, so that's gonna be your first go around. That's your four-way neck stretches, side to side, front to back, all the way through. That thing is awesome. Most all of you will have that. If you don't, it's because there's a reason for it. We, told it, we just decided that wasn't gonna be the best thing for you, but that's how you do that exercise. Our next exercise, I'm just going through the sheet here. Uh, next exercise is gonna be the chest um, expander, okay? So we're gonna take a pole, you can get a PVC pipe like this, or you can get a towel. So if this was a towel, I'd be holding it just like this. I'm gonna go through, okay? Now your arms have to be wide enough, wide enough until you can go all the way back. Now if this causes pain or you have a really bad shoulder, don't do this. Probably won't have given it to you as an exercise, but this is how you do it, you stretch. You should feel that in your shoulders and your chest. And you're gonna take it nice and slow, all the way back. All right, nice and slow. And you're gonna do as many as we put down on your sheet. It's gonna be different for everyone. Good, that's an amazing stretch. Gets nice and tight, or gets the muscles nice and loose through there. Okay, next exercise, you're gonna put your hands up like this. Okay, you'll see the picture, the first one will be standing just like this. Hold this up, okay, and you're flexing. We're trying to loosen this up right here. It's called the praying mantis. You can even work your way up some and back, okay, just like this. Okay, you're gonna hold it for about five seconds here. Hold it for about five seconds there, okay? The next one we're gonna do, hands are like this. This opens your chest as well. And you're gonna come all the way up. And I'm bringing my hands back here, as far back as I can, so I get a good stretch in the front of my spine, right, or in the front of my uh, chest right here. The other one I'm gonna have you guys do, I don't have a doorway here to show you, but imagine a door here, a wall here, a wall here. I'm gonna grab the doorway, okay, this is a door. <laughs> grab the doorway and I'm gonna step forward and stretch. It's a great stretch to open up the chest area and start to get rid of those unrolled shoulders. You'll hold it for about five to 10 seconds and push yourself out and go back into it. Five to 10 seconds, push yourself out, go back into it, okay? And you're gonna do that on, a, all these you're gonna do on a daily basis or how we recommend on your sheet. Okay, the next one that we're gonna do, and some of these I'm gonna do on this table here, get my things out of the way. So the next thing we're gonna do here is the back extension exercise. And so you're gonna be like this, all the way back, just like you see there. I'm gonna hold it now. If I have pain, I'm not gonna do this, because I should feel a stretch in the front of my spine. 10 to 15 seconds. I'll kind of loosen it up, and then I'll go back into it. 10 to 15 seconds, loosen it up. So I'm not, I'm not going quite 10 to 15 seconds, you go back. And stretch again, okay? All right, now the next one, as you'll see on your thing, this is an old yoga move. And it's gonna be like this, this is the camel, this is the cat, okay? You should be that low back like this, like that. And your spine should be moving back and forth. This is amazing to pump the disc spaces, okay? Helps pump the disc spaces in your lower back and your middle back and return keeping the fluid in your discs. If you don't move your discs, the space will disappear and you get degenerative disc disease. So do this on a daily basis. The next one is the um, piriformis stretch. 
Okay. Might be a little bit hard. Make sure I can see this. You're going to put your leg up like this, this one here, and you're going to grab and bring towards you. Okay. I feel this right. You want to feel this right in the butt muscle. It's called your piriformis. Just like this, you'll hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then you'll kick outwards and bring it back. 10 to 15 seconds. Kick out. I always try to put these in sets of three. Good, and out, okay? I'm gonna do that with both legs and you should feel that right in the butt muscle, right in the piriformis, okay? Now the next one I'm gonna have you do is a hip flexor muscle stretch, hip flexor stretch. You do this, you don't have to be on a table, I'm just going so you can see. Put my hands back here, straighten my elbows out, and I'm laying back, okay? I'm looking up at the sky, stretching from here all the way through here, okay? And that is your hip flexor stretch. It's gonna relax these muscles. When your hip flexors get tight from sitting too much, it causes your pelvis to go like this, okay? So we've all seen people that look like this because these hip flexors are way too tight. So we're stretching, the, or I'm sorry, opposite, like this. We're stretching those hip flexors out, okay? That's a key one, and just however many times we told you on your exercises. Now the next one we're gonna do, let's see if you can see this, as you can, okay? Hands are gonna be out straight, this is Superman. First Superman you're gonna do is I'm gonna bring my right arm up and my left leg up. I'll hold it for five seconds, I'm gonna go back down. Left arm up, right leg up, I'm go back down, and then I'm gonna do both. Okay, just like that. Hold each one for five seconds, and you're gonna do as many as we wrote down on your sheet for you. And when you do that, it helps strengthen, you're gonna feel it, strengthen this lower back. This next one's one of my favorite, I do it on a regular basis. Usually will recommend you do this every single day. These are called planks. And the first plank is the easiest. You're gonna do a push-up position. I'll do this way so I don't get my head on this thing. Push-up position like this, just like this, and you want your back to be like this. You don't want to be like this, it doesn't work. You definitely don't want to be like this. It needs to be nice like a board. Okay, and just go straight forward. I'm gonna work your way up to a minute or whatever we write down on your sheet. Okay? Next one, a little bit harder. You can go like this on your elbows. And if it, both of those are too hard, then you can go down your knees like this, because you want to be flexing your abs. Okay, I mean, you want to try to suck your belly button into your spine. Okay, and we're strengthening, we're strengthening this core. That's one of the best core exercises that you can do. Next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand up here so you can see. Okay, is squats. Now I'm gonna hold on to something. I always recommend holding on to something unless you're really good at this. When I do a squat, I'm gonna make sure my heels, toes are up, and I'm going, I'm gonna go into my heels, not in my toes. So you can't see my feet, but I'm going through my heels. Go down like this, okay, and I'm gonna get a nice stretch. You should feel a stretch all the way through. I'm bending forward, I sit up as straight as I can, and back up, okay? Hold it for about five seconds, get a good stretch, and back up. And you'll do as many as we recommend on your sheet, okay? So we have here next. Oh, wall angels. Okay. This is one of my favorite. I can actually show you on this wall right here. So what I'm gonna do, stand against the wall, and I'm have everything touching the wall. My heels are touching, my butt's touching, my hands are touching. So I look like this. Everything touching the wall, my head and everything, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna try to get my shoulders to the wall, and I'm gonna hold it there, and I'm gonna try to get my way up to three minutes. I like to do this every evening before you go to bed because it just teaches you back in this position. It's an easy time to remember to do it. And you'll notice when you walk off, you're back in this position. You can do this throughout your day at work, all those different places. Okay, the next one is called a wobble cushion. Okay, on, the, on their exercise sheet, it says wobble cushion, just like this. You can buy them from us, you can get them at the store, but you wanna air them up where they're nice and thick, set them on a chair, this is great for when you're at work and you're typing to get movement in your spine. You most all of you have done this in the office, but you're gonna do first exercise, side to side, right ear to right shoulder, my left side goes down. Left ear to left shoulder, right side goes down. Okay, just like that. Okay, and I like to do at least 60 of these a day, side to side. The next one you're gonna do is front to back, okay? So I'll make sure I'm centered on this ball. I'm gonna go forward, my belly's button going out. This belly button is going out. Maybe I'll show you here. Good, belly button out, head back. 
Play button in, head down. Same thing. I'm gonna do this about 60 times. I'll tell you, that right there pumps every disc in your spine. The key to that is, is disc fluid, unless, to mo unless you move it every day, will dehydrate and degenerate. Now this is very, very important because the average American right now, my hair's crazy right now because of all this, but the average American does this about once a year. We need to replenish the disc every day. So, you wanna make sure you're doing that on a daily basis, you wanna get one of those balls. The next exercise that we could possibly recommend to you is with one of these. Now I don't sell these, we don't have these in our office, but you can go to Dick's Sporting Goods and get one, you can order them online on eBay. Easy to get, very effective. I'll show you how to use this. Now, first of all, I'm not gonna show you every exercise you can do with this. I'm gonna show you the key ones, just a couple of them that we would recommend. First one is the thoracic opening. And I'm gonna put this about mid-back, okay, you can see right here. And then I'm gonna roll down like this to about the upper back. And then I'm gonna, you can see my butt's up, letting the weight, and just let my whole spine roll over this thing. And you'll hear some popping sometimes. Yeah, go right to the middle. I'm going all the way down my back, just to the middle, to where my lower back meets my middle back. And this is amazing. It feels so good on your back. Okay, and you're gonna do, I would say, about a minute of that, and it's really just whatever we recommend, okay? The next one you can do is we're gonna work the IT bands. If we tell you to work your IT bands with this thing, it's gonna look like this. Okay? Right here. I'm on my side, you're right there. This is painful, or can be painful. Mine's not too bad, mine's not too tight. I go all the way down to my knee and all the way back up to my hip. I'm just rolling the muscle up my knee, or down my knee and up my hip. Okay, and we're gonna do, you're gonna go as long as we recommend on your sheet, going both sides. Cool? All right, that one's pretty simple. There's lots of things you can do with this, but those are the two we usually recommend. Okay, let's see what we got next. There's another one. This is something we do in the office, but you can get one of these from home, for home. It's a neck traction unit. Now, one thing you can do is hang on the wall, do your neck traction like you do here in the office. Really cool. Other thing you can do is you can get it like this and introduce the curve. Okay? And it just puts that curve into your neck. Okay? And that's if we recommend it, obviously, it, um, on your sheet. Final one, I believe, that we have on our sheet here for you. Oh, we have a couple more. The next one is an IT band stretch. I'm gonna put your legs crossed like this, go down, and I'm gonna kick out, so I'm stretching this IT band. I can feel it from here, you should feel it from here all the way up to here. I'm gonna hold it about 10 to 15 seconds, and I'm gonna come up. If you have any pain with this, let us know, okay? Same thing, 10 to 15 seconds come up and you can do both sides. You should go all through here. Okay. The next one you're going to do, this one's going to be a little bit harder for me to show you guys because I need somewhere to put this. Okay. We'll turn this around. I know this is kind of not highly professional, but I want to make sure that you guys just know how to do your exercises. Save us a little bit of time in the office if you can just watch this. And tie this to a doorknob just like this. My hands are going to be here. I'm going to step back a little bit. I'm just putting my, my, my um, scapulas, my mid-back, bringing it together, okay? Get a good tension, bring it together, just like this. I'll show you. I'm just going like this. I'm not going like this. I'm trying to just get my scapulas, bring it together, okay? And you're going to do as many of those as we recommend for it as well. Okay, I'm going to bring you back over here. So those are your, gonna be your core main home exercises. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything on the sheet. This is very important. Must know them all. Yeah, and then after, and you also have these on your sheet. So this is how to drive, how to sleep, how to, or how to drive, how to sleep, how to sit your computer properly. And the next one I believe is how to um, text, right? Uh, that's when that one's very important. Your next sheet here that you have is gonna be on supplements. So I'm gonna go through those so, so that you know why we recommend them, why they're so important for you, okay? First thing on the list is 
are men's, this is a men's, but men's or women's multivitamins, this is a women's. We have men or women's multivitamin, this is made by Innate. Now the key, this is very important, the key to healthy supplements, right? Going to Costco, going, and I'm not trying to hit on any store problems here, but the truth is, is most of these brand name places, things at the store are synthetic. And the problem with being synthetic is your body doesn't understand it, so it doesn't absorb it. It goes right through you, but not just that, all the chemicals they have in there, uh, that, that sweeteners, many times they have food dyes, they have titanium dioxide, magnesium stearate, all these different things that actually can cause cancer. They're known carcinogens. So not only are they not helping you, many times they're actually hurting you. So when you do supplements, very important to have a whole foods multi, a multivitamin, but it needs to be real food. All of our supplements, number one most important thing you can hear, all of our supplements are NSF approved, meaning they go through a standard of testing, standardized testing to get approved. And so I mean the company that makes it goes to another company and they test them and say this is what's in the product. Okay, so we actually know what you're getting. So this is the multivitamin we use, it's innate. Okay, the next thing is a complete multi-mineral. We recommend this for you is because we believe you don't have enough minerals in your body. Coffee, um, chronic fatigue, uh, stress, not drinking enough water, uh, sugar, all this stuff can deplete our minerals and a lot of us are actually mineral deficient. So we always try to recommend this if we think you need it. B vitamins, there's lots of reasons why we recommend this, but this is a core to your health. Your heart needs B vitamins, your muscles need it. It's key for so many things to create hormones, key for your energy levels, for your immune system. So um, we always recommend if, if, if you're someone that we feel like needs this, a B multivitamin. And again, it's real supplements. It's not fake food or fake uh, synthetic supplements. Vitamin D3. Love this one. Okay. This is vitamin D3. It has actually vitamin K in it as well. And it's because vitamin D, when it goes into your body, uh, it doesn't come by itself, right? It comes from the sun. Your body produces it. We need the right amount of vitamin K with it so it tells you where to go. And what I mean by that is many times you have vitamin D, just regular vitamin D3 supplements. It'll go in your body. doesn't know where to go. It'll pick up calcium, take it to your, to your bloodstream, it'll, and it causes all kinds of issues. K2 is very important to have with it. But the key with vitamin D3, this is 1,000, I think, yeah, 5,000 I use. You want it 5,000 to 10,000 I use a day, and we'll recommend to you how much you want to take. But this one's a very good supplement, especially in the wintertime because we're not getting enough sun. Highly recommend this um, for really everyone. You know, almost everybody will see that one on their sheet. This one is actually one of my favorite as well. Patients coming into our office have a lot of inflammation problems. That's what causes a lot of their pain. Um, heart disease, for instance, is caused from inflammation, not cholesterol. And so when your body's inflamed, it's a good idea to take a supplement that will decrease that inflammation. This right here is curcumin. It's a curcumin complex. Very essential for lowering uh, inflammation in your body. It works just as good as ibuprofen, but it doesn't have the major side effects. The FDA just came out this last few months and said, and raised the restrictions on um, ibuprofen or NSAIDs, anti non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, over-the-counter stuff, because it's causing heart attacks. Huge, right? So you want to watch out what you're putting in your body. This is a great alternative. I'm going to show it to you. This is a great alternative. So um, if we didn't recommend this, if you're interested, ask us. But usually if you have inflammation, we're going to recommend this for you. My final one here. We have other supplements on there. But these are the core ones that we always, almost always recommend. Bone broth protein. I love this stuff. Um, big fan of getting enough protein in your diet, especially after exercising. And this is easy to digest has a good amount of protein, 20 grams of protein, easy to digest, no sugar, no added sugars or sugar at all on it, um, not too many calories, but it's really good for you. It's great for your body's digestive system. Whey protein can be really hard to digest and mostly, most of them out there have a lot of chemicals in it. So I always recommend bone broth protein. That's actually what I take uh, on a daily basis, okay? Ooh, final one, turmeric powder. This stuff is cool. This isn't really a supplement. It's something that I just recommend a lot of people you would take. If, if you're someone that has intense Inflammation, take it daily. You take a scoop of it, put it in hot water, put some coconut oil or grass-fed butter, and it'll absorb in and it'll decrease inflammation like crazy. Okay, so this is something anybody can take on a regular basis, but I wanted to add this in because inflammation is a big deal these days. All right, I think that is it. I think I covered everything on our sheets. Um, and, uh, you know, thanks for watching. It's about 25 minutes here, so I know. A little long, but I hope you got as much as you could out of it. If you have any questions, ask us in the office. And um, yeah, remember, your nervous system controls your body. This is all about you having long-term health. 
Um, when it comes to your spine, you're never going to quit taking care of it. You're going to have to do it for the rest of your life, just like your teeth. It run, your nervous system runs your body. In our world, because we sit like this all day long, if you're not doing something to keep yourself uh, counteracting all that sitting, you're going you're gonna to go backhill fast, right? They've shown that prolonged sitting increases all-cause mortality rates. They know, we know that when shrinking, they've shown that men and women, when they shrink, so forward head posture shrink, actually increases their uh, risks of heart problems and lung problems or deaths from heart problems and lung problems. So I hope that was good for you guys. Share with us um, what you think about the video in the office. It's quick, not highly professional, but um, I think it did the job. So let us know what you think. If you have any questions, just ask us in the office. Love you guys, and we'll talk to you uh, in your next visit.